In this video, we're going to learn how to use if and else with the four different data types that we use in Alice. Whole numbers, decimals, text strings, and booleans. We're going to start with whole numbers. So I've got two whole number variables, number one and number two. So I'm going to grab an if, and then I'm going to say true. I always have to start out like this. Now this is always going to be true if I leave it like this, because true is always true. So I want to put in a Boolean expression in here. And I want to see if the variable num1 is greater than the variable num2. So I'm going to drop down. Since I'm using whole numbers, I'm comparing whole numbers, I've got to go down to relational whole number. I want to figure out if one is greater than the other. So I go to the greater than. And I want to see if num1 is greater than num2. So I do num1 first, then num2. So if this is a true statement, it'll do whatever's in the if statement. If this is a false statement, it'll do whatever code's in the else. So, you know, let's just pick something, set atmosphere color to blue, and for else, set atmosphere color to green. So, we look at this. As this is written right now, this is a tr uh, false statement, because num1 equals 1. And 1 is not greater than num2, which equals 2. 1 is not greater than 2. It's false, so it would go to else. So if we ran this method, the atmosphere would turn green because it is a false statement. And let's do the same thing with a decimal. So decimal numbers, you see, I got a decimal variable named num3 and a decimal variable named num4. So I'm going to grab an if. Start it out as true. And then this time, I want to see if num3 is equal to num4. Now, since these are decimal numbers, i got to go to relational decimal, and i got to go to the equals. And I want to see if num3 is equal to num4. Now, if num3 is equal to num4, if that is a true statement, I want it to set fog density to 0.1. If this is a false statement, I want it to set fog density to 0.9. So we look at this. Num3, which equals 2.3, and then num4 equals 4.4. This is a false statement because 2.3 is not equal to 4.4. So if this method were run, it would go to the else and set fog density to 0.9. Now we wouldn't have to have two variables. We could have a variable and a constant. So we could put a constant in here, 1. This is called a constant because it never changes. This variable could have different values. 1.0 always equals 1.0. Now this is still a false statement because the variable num3 currently equals 2.3 and the constant is 1.0 and 2.3 is not equal to 1.0. It's a false statement, so we go to the else. Text string demo. All right, we've got two text strings, one named string 1 and one named string 2. And text strings contain letter, a word, or words. So I'm going to use an if. It's a little different comparing text strings. We start off the same way. True is true. Now, since these are text strings, we go down to text string. And we have some options here. Contents equals. Are they exactly the same? Equals ignore case. Are they the same, but there might be some upper and lower case differences? Starts with, that means the word starts with the second word. Ends with means the first word um, ends with whatever's in the second word. And contains, meaning uh, the second word is somewhere in the first word. I usually use equals ignores case, because that way, if I capitalize a letter that wasn't supposed to be capitalized, it'll be just fine. So I want to see if string 1 equals string 2, ignoring the cases. And if that is true, I am going to play an audio file. And if it is not true, I'm going to play a different audio file. So forest if this is true, gravel if it's not true. So the string hello is not equal to the string goodbye. We're com that's what the variable is equal. So this would be false, it would play gravel. Now if we change this, so we said custom text string, we change this to hello. Now this would be a true statement because these two strings are equivalent. String 1 and string 2 are the same. So it would play forest. Again, we can have a variable and a variable, or we could do a variable and a constant. So we could say if string 1 equals ignore case, by, 
This is false because string one currently equals hello, and that does not equal the string by. So we got a variable here and a constant there. Constant never changes. It's always going to be by. String one could be different. It could change throughout the program. We can always change the values of variables. Constants stay the same. Finally, Boolean. Boolean's the easiest one. We go to if, and then we can say Boolean 1. So Boolean 1 is currently true. If true is true, which it is, it's going to do the code in the if. Otherwise, it's going to do the code in the else. Right now, it's going to do the code in the if. If it were this, so Boolean 1 false is not true, it would do the code in the else.